Hello from Ability360, I'm Jennifer Longden. And I'm Lauren Worthington, and together we publish Livability Magazine every quarter. We're here to give you a preview of Edition 10. Lauren, I love this cover. Right, this cover is uh, Casey Johannesson. He is a really interesting guy out of Phoenix. Jerry O'Connor shot this. He's done a lot of our photography work. Great job, I really think it's a, a, an interesting story, and I think uh, Jerry did a good job taking a, a solid photo of him. That's his third cover. That's right. Thank you, Jerry. Our newest writer, Scott Jaravanis, brought us a story on VMI. Right. This is a, an interview with Doug Eaton. He's the president and CEO of VMI. They've been making vans here in uh, the Valley for 30 years. Jen, you and I got to walk the line with Doug. We certainly learned a lot about how they make vans. Mm -hmm. He introduced us to the new pilot. That's interesting. It's a... Uh, project they've been working on for quite a while that gets away from the minivan, so I think people will find that interesting. And then he gave us his insight on driverless cars in the future. Yeah, I really liked it, and I think VMI is a great community partner. We had another new writer this edition, Jillian Carr, and she did our story on Senator John Kavanaugh and a new law impacting parking stripes for uh, accessible spaces. Right, Jen, you mentioned parking stripes with anybody in a disability, and of course, everybody's had a nightmare uh, about somebody abusing those. So this is great that we saw Senator Kavanaugh improve the law, and I thought uh, Jillian, who happens to be up in our finance department, uh, we got a great story out of Jillian. Agreed. From our community section, we, we got a really good story out of Yvette Maliari. She writes about therapeutic horsemanship at a organization in North Phoenix called Camelot. What'd you think, Jim? I love this story. And you shot the photos for this one, didn't you? Right, got to go out with Yvette for this story. And uh, in fact, our favorite uh, videographer, Clinton, went out there. And so I think we've got a good video uh, that will be up online pretty quick as well. This is one of the stories with bonus video content. Jen, I thought this story went really well with this edition because as you know, October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month. This is a story about a girl who went to Camelot, then she went off to get her education and decided that she got so much out of this that she wanted to give back, and now she is training to get her professional therapeutic horsemanship certificate. So again, this talks about not only Camelot and the value there, but also about people with disabilities and employment. Our centerfold is Cool Careers, and that's Casey Johansson, the guy that was on the cover. He was a really fun guy to talk to because, you know, he's down to earth, he's interesting. He's a demolitions expert. He gets to wreck things for a living. I think there's a lot of things that about Casey that are really interesting. First of all, this is an individual who had a career, terrible accident, and then got right back on his horse, so to speak, and, uh, right, uh, and is at work again. And then the other thing is that he's an entrepreneur. He built a wheelchair to fit his needs. Casey's invented a couple of different things. He's invented some equipment that they use in their demolitions business and some of the equipment that he now uses as adaptations for his disability. Uh, I just found him to be a really interesting guy overall. I thought you did a great job writing the story, especially because you were able to get some insight from his colleagues that did a lot to explain about his ingenuity and, and about how he just does not let his disability set him back. Emily Lopez came back to write about relationships in the last story in our magazine on uh, two Paralympians who are winning at love. Right, uh, this happens to be two friends of mine, Kim and Eric, and uh, I actually got to photograph them in Rio for the Paralympics, known Eric for quite a while, and so uh, it's great to see that they're uh, together and, and uh, they're gonna get married pretty quick. Congratulations, guys. Jen, before we bring up our last story about veterans, I just wanna give a shout out to all of our advertisers who appear in the magazine. We certainly appreciate their support and we hope that our readers will in turn support our advertisers. Agreed. You know, Jen, one of the things that we uh, added to, to this magazine that I'm very happy about was just one simple photo about a veteran. And uh, I know this is a friend of yours, so maybe you mm -hmm. can uh, add a little. This is a story about retired Marine Sergeant Gabby Wake. She was injured while on active duty. 
I've known her since she was 11 years old, and she's always had this drive and focus. She brought back a whole lot of medals from the Invictus Games in Toronto, so we're looking forward to uh, covering her future as a Paralympian. Mm -hmm. I think all those medals would fit into the gear bag that we profiled on another page for the magazine. That's right. Uh, one of the things that I, I'm, I'm excited about that we're adding to each of the magazines is a little bit of tech talk, working in some stories about equipment that hopefully make it easier for people to travel, for people to get around. We covered an awful lot this edition, travel, 360 global, and six stories on National Disability Awareness Employment Month. What else did I miss, Lauren? I think you got it all, Jen. I hope everybody enjoys all of the stories, and then I would just encourage everybody to write us, let us know what you thought about the stories, and pitch us some new stories. We're always looking for something interesting out there. Editor at Ability360.org, and you can subscribe online for free. See ya.